with a review of the first three books in the Leica series by Krista and Becca Ritchie and my cat is showing up which he does in most videos so I can't pretend that this is like Jane's influence um anyways so the first three books uh all follow the same couple which is why I'm clumping them together in a review and the third one had just come out in March so the first one is damaged like us which I gave a four stars the second is lovers like us which I gave a four stars and the third one is alphas like us which I gave five stars I don't have a physical copy yet it is on pre-order it comes out in April so which is right now but you know not like right now right now so these follow um Moffy and Pharaoh and um it so it's a male male romance and this is Moffy this is Pharaoh meet them hello this is about the characters from the like us and addicted or like addicted and Callaway sister series it's about their children which Moffy is one of them he's kind of like they call him the oldest cousin. He's technically not because Maria's the oldest, but she's like too old. I, I don't know. Whatever. Those are asides. So it follows them and their bodyguards, which there are three bodyguard teams within this family, basically. And the one that follows this group is SFO, um, Security Force Omega. Pharaoh is Moffy's bodyguard. So, you know. I don't know why I'm so crazy today. <laughs> um, I will say you do not have to read the Addicted and Callaway Sister series to read and enjoy these. You can totally read them independently. I've, I'm on Krista and Becca Ritchie's um, private Facebook group and it seems like there's a ton of people on there who have read them separately. And just like the Addicted and Callaway books, these are really strong ensemble cast. And that's what I love about Krista and Becca Ritchie. And I will real quick read you the synopsis from Damaged Like Us just to give you like a better idea of what the series is about. Maximoff Hale is a force of nature, a ship unwilling to be steered, headstrong, resilient, and wholly responsible. The 22-year-old alpha billionaire can handle his unconventional life. By noon, lunch can turn into a mob of screaming fans. By two, his face is all over the internet. Born into one of the most famous families in the country, his celebrity status began at birth. When he's a Ooh. When he's assigned a new 24-7 bodyguard, he comes face-to-face -face with the worst-case scenario. Being attached to the tattooed, MMA-trained Yale graduate who's known for going rogue in the security team, and who fills one-third of Maximoff's sexual fantasies. 27-year-old Pharaoh Keen has one job, protect Maximoff Hale. Flirting, dating, and hot sex falls far, far out of the boundary of his bodyguard duties and into termination territory. But when feelings surface, protecting the sexiest and stubborn celebrity becomes increasingly complicated. Uh, the like tagline kind of thing for these is billionaires and bodyguards, um, which I feel like is pretty accurate. I actually am not a huge fan typically of billionaire storylines, but I feel like these are different. Um, so let's talk characters. <laughs> um, so I like Pharaoh more than I like Mafi. Um, Mafi grows on me towards the end, um, but Pharaoh is just a much more open character, so he's just easier to get to know and to like. But Mafi is incredibly caring, and he totally puts his family before like anything else, including himself. And there is something very sweet about that. And like I said earlier, the side characters are like Mafi's family and the other bodyguards, and they are great, especially as the series goes on. Um, there is. So much sequel bait there's there are four additional confirmed couples I think that's right four um and I am equally excited about all of them so the romance I will say this is not my favorite romance um I but I was still emotionally invested in them these are two alpha males and I am just not a huge alpha male person so that's the thing where like I don't fully connect with them um like they're always fighting for control in their relationship I think it's an interesting dynamic but it's just not like my personal catnip 
if you've read the other books by Krista and Becca Ritchie and you like Rose and Connor's story, I think you'd really like these. I like Rose and Connor and I like Rose and Connor as individuals, but as a couple, they're probably my least favorite couple. Like, it's the books I care the least about. So, the relationships. Um, there are some great family and friend relationships throughout these books and I think that's something that Krista and Becca do really really well which is another reason I love them. Um, and over the course of these three books you really get to see those relationships evolve like you get to see Mothy's relationship with his his like siblings um, not just his sisters but his siblings and his cousins kind of change and he gets to know the bodyguards and Pharaoh's relationships with the other bodyguards evolves and changes and um, their relationships with like the parents like the core six um, which are the people that the other books are about you get to see that change and you get to see that family relationship and that family dynamic so would I recommend this series um yes so even though this is not my favorite, I still gave it four and five stars. I still think it's really good. There are other people who are like hands down, hashtag Marrow for life, Marrow is my OTP. And that's the thing about books like this. Like you, you're, there's always going to be a couple for you. Like for the first, for the Addicted and Callaway books, like Lilo is my, is my ship. Like Lily and Lo are my couple, but that doesn't mean I don't like Razy or Kabbalaway, like I like them. So um, I think especially if you've liked other books by Krista and Becca Ritchie, I think you would like these. I haven't read a ton of male male romance, so I can't tell you how it stacks up. I will tell you really quick if this means anything to you. Um, Pharaoh is gay and Mothy is bi. Um, and also I would selfishly hope that you would read these and buy them so that they sell well and the Richies will continue to publish these books and write them because then I get more because I could literally have a book about every single one of these characters. I just love them that much. So yeah, I feel like this I was going to say this review is really random, which they all are, so I don't know why I keep saying that. Yeah. So, yeah, um, if you have read these and you have any thoughts, let me know down below. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>